Hello, this is Blue Whisper, and I'm going to do this tag, um, tag by Spin Pixie and Planet Halflings, and this is the um, Samhain Halloween tag. And the first question is, what is your absolute favorite horror film? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I'm a little bit different. Um, I don't do super scary horror films anymore like I used to. <laughs> um, you know, I decided a long time ago I can choose my own stresses and being stressed over a movie when there's so many stresses in life, you know, it's like, oh, I'd rather do the films that are a little bit on the comedy side. So I'd have to say my most favorite, and it's a classic, is Young Frankenstein. I love that film. Um, the second question is, what is your favorite candy to eat on Halloween? Oh, <laughs> anything chocolate. Anything, anything chocolate. If it's chocolate, I'm there. Um, so, chocolate. Number three, favorite Halloween treat that is not candy. Hot chocolate. Um, hot chocolate and donuts um, in the fall. You know, in Halloween has um, always been a favorite. Also, spiced cider. Um, a lot of times around here, um, there'll be hay rides or um, after trick or treat parties or whatever, and there's always donuts and cider. But my overall favorite would be hot chocolate. Number four, have you ever been scared on, on Halloween? And if so, what happened? Um, probably when I was a kid going to the mall and they had a haunted house set up. Um, just going through that and being scared. And back then it was fun. <laughs> okay, so number five is, do you have a favorite Halloween decoration? Um, do I have a favorite Halloween decoration? I do now. Um, I'd have to say it's my little uh, witch, and I'll take a short video of it and include it um, in here. Um, it's fiber optic, and she's kind of cool. I like her. That's my favorite right now. I just got it. Um, really, really great deal at a yard sale. Okay, and number six, share your favorite childhood home memory my favorite childhood Halloween memory. Um, going trick-or-treating. Um, one time I can remember, you know, about nine or ten years old, we were allowed to just go out by ourselves without our parents, and we would um, put on our costumes. And I'll never forget the first year somebody said, use a pillowcase. You know, these trick-or-treat bags that you buy at the store, they get a hole in them, they fall apart. Um, you know, they get heavy. Little pumpkins we carry around never held too much. And, you know, I can remember going trick-or-treating and, you know, it wouldn't even be dark yet. We'd start trick-or-treating and it, it would be long past dark before we'd get home. Um, and yeah, even though it got very heavy, a pillowcase did work. It was the best because it held a lot. Um, that's probably my favorite Halloween memory is the first time I was allowed to go out with my brother and some of our friends without adults. And that was really fun that we were um, trusted. And back then, you know, kids could be trusted and, and there wasn't a whole lot of, you know, um, crap going on and child abductions and things like that happening yet, you know. Um, so in recent times, it's a little bit more dangerous. So number seven, is there anything you do not like about Halloween? Yes, yes, yes. I hate it. And when my kids were young, <coughs> excuse me, and my grandsons, when you take them trick-or-treating and people think that it's okay to give Christian tracts about why Halloween is bad, <laughs> you know, it's like, don't even open your damn door. Don't give that stuff. This is not what it's about. And please don't push your religious beliefs off on my children. That is something I don't like about Halloween, that people um, take advantage of it for their own selfish purposes. Because to me, if you're 
you know, I don't care what your religion is. Um, you know, unless I ask you and invite it, I probably really don't want to know about it. And to force it on the children and we were candy or something else, you know, if you don't want to give candy out, um, you know, here's some ideas. Um, pencils, erasers, toothbrushes, um, little little things like that, you know, if, if you think that people are getting too much candy and, and they might rot their teeth, give them a toothbrush, you know, not a used one, a new one, you know, you know, something interesting. Leave your little Christian tracks for another day, and please don't leave them for your waitress in lieu of a tip either. I, I hate people who that do that crap. But anyway, moving on. That's the one thing I don't like about Halloween. Number eight, ghosts, pumpkin heads, green uh, witch faces, etc. What is your favorite Halloween image? Mm, my favorite Halloween skeleton. I, I think the skeleton, I can remember a little cartoon um, as a kid. I think it was Disney cartoon or whatever, the dancing skeletons. And um, I love that to this day. Number eight, do you have a favorite Halloween song? Oh, without a doubt. Um, have you seen The Ghost of John? I love that song. Um, every Halloween, my, my kids and I would sing that, um, hot chocolate, and watching some, you know, crazy monster movies or whatever on television, you know. We'd bring out a blanket and put it on the floor in front of the television set um, after trick-or-treating. Um, might have hot chocolate or um, soda or you know you know some snacks or whatever and watch these movies popcorn whatever um, and singing that song between movies or whatever and just having a good time is really a big part of it um, and the last question number 10 what was the best costume you ever wore for Halloween I don't remember a whole lot of the costumes when I was a kid. Um, when I was a kid, we were really creative. Most of the time, if you had a store-bought costume, it was a cheap plastic mask. Um, and the edges were sharp. And a lot of times we were told, oh, you gotta cut the eyes out even bigger to be safe. And <laughs> they were pretty silly, but I remember as a kid, I loved those. Um, the little plastic outfits that came with them. And um, sometimes we would get a little bit more creative. I remember my brother um, buying a whole lot of gauze and wrapping it around himself and, you know, to look like a mummy. And by the end of the night, he had, it just fell apart on him. There was long strings and by the end of the night, he um, no longer had a costume. Um, I don't really remember a whole lot of them, but I do remember, you know, the different things that we did, like, you know, using my mother's makeup to make mustaches and, um, you know, coming up with our own costumes, using all her jewelry, old costume jewelry to become a gypsy and scarves um, and a lot of colors and things like that, you know, being creative and that's what I remember. Um, so if you're watching this video, you know, please um, give me a like and hit subscribe, and I'm tagging you into this video. So, um, you know, let's see your favorites. All right, everybody, I'm looking forward to seeing the video responses on this tag, and blessed be. Oh, and a very happy Halloween and a blessed sound.